Hey guys, and welcome to the Meet Builder video in which I'll be explaining basic rendering in Cinema 4D for Minecraft. And this is something that a lot of tutorials exist about. And so I thought I'd make one after someone replied to my Q&A video uh, asking me to do it. And I polled on Twitter if there was people who were interested in it and there were people who were interested in it. So here's me doing that. And yeah, let's just dive right in. I will be using um, a new build by Captain Creeper, uh, who is a member of Solari. So I'll link all needed links in the description below, uh, including download links to mine waste, which I will be using right after this. Anyway, enjoy. So let's get right started and we'll get started by opening up Mineways. Already have it open right here. And you can, if you use the new version of Mineways, you can just go to file open and straight up import your schematic that right here. You can just open it, then right mouse click and drag over your schematic. Make sure you're depth and height are correct just 0 to 255 usually is then you can either set a texture pack by set terrain file or you can just go straight for export for rendering and okay so that's export to an OBG file then we go to cinema 4d go to file open and we open the navigators co file scale I have it set at 2 and um, other scales work as well basically but I just have it at 2 I don't know why okay with your object open you see it's just gray and well doesn't look quite right for a render now does it you can just select your first material and do Control A to select all materials. Then you go to the tab here where you have your material tab. Uh, you turn off specular and you turn on alpha. Then you go to color. You set this as your normal color. And then you go to alpha and you select the RGBA file basically that makes some materials translucent um okay so here you have it and the basic setup just your object with your materials it's pretty simple okay but now to make a pretty simple render we do a floor just do that by clicking on floor and we'll also need a sky so we're gonna make a new material for them and let's just use a slightly medium gray for both you can assign materials but just by clicking and dragging them onto what you need them for so on the sky and on the floor but we're gonna need to do some changes we'll leave specular on so no wait we're gonna turn it off and turn on some reflection but turn it out really far so there's just a little bit of, of reflection not a lot okay so if we render it out like this, you'll see it's very dull and we don't want that. So what we do is we add lights. You instantly get a dark room, but that's not an issue. So just drag your light towards this. I often do that just towards the side so you have the shadows on one side and the light on the other it's just good for contrast you set your shadows to soft and you may 
boost your intensity if you want that. Then we make another light. Also move it about to the left side, but a bit further away and a bit higher up. And lower the intensity and also set the shadows to soft. All right, what you can see then already is some a basic render. But you can see, well, it's not very nice. It's just really basic. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna add another light, throw it to the back, turn it down really far, like only a little bit of light and I'm gonna turn on ambient illumination that's gonna light up the entire area it's you gotta be careful with this because it often tends to reduce the shadows but I think for this it'll work but you can still turn on the shadows so that's fine um, and if you look at that there's already a lot more light going on but to make that really stand out we gotta go into render settings go to effect and turn on ambient occlusion and while we are here I'm also gonna turn on um, the physical renderer you can do this with standard renderer too and go to your camera settings later on but we'll just do this with physical right now Go to physical and turn on your depth of field and i'm gonna leave it set to low on this occasion but you can set it to medium high it just defines your um your render times basically and how grainy your image can be also let's change our output to a more decent 1920 by 1080 And when we render it like this, okay. Now that we have left that to render out, we'll see that there's still a lot more that we need to change, but there's some decent shadows going on and everything, so that's good. Um, so now we're gonna change that background a bit. What we're gonna do for that is make a camera object and click on this to have it selected. You can just move it slightly here, get a good angle. Um, and because we're in physical, we can change all the the camera settings that are usually found on DSLRs or something like that but for your f-stop for example if you, the lower the number the more bokeh or background blur you'll have um i think i'm going with it too right now so that's a lot of blur normally and then just focus distance click on the build um yeah and then you can just turn on front and rear blur i don't know if this is necessary to be honest but i just tend to do it and you can then look if your rear and front blur are correct you can just drag them to make them sharper or less sharp so I'm just gonna render a little region right here and then we'll see if it worked yeah the background is blurry but I'm still gonna change it so we're gonna make a new material so we're gonna make that a darker gray so it matches the horizon line and turn off specular so just assign that and remove so if we render that region out now we should be getting a much 
crisper result. Okay, now for some extras, we can just make a new light and we're gonna have a little bit of fog going through the image. So we're gonna turn on soft shadows and put visible light to volumetric and turn it into a spotlight. So we're gonna turn the color a bit more yellow. All right, just go out of the camera and we're gonna turn the light spotlight at the build real quick this decides and to where the fog goes this is just for the diameter just gonna take it a little bit wider the fog is gonna go way possible and this is to decide where the fog really starts I'm gonna see if that is in frame we're just gonna have the that start out of frame and have the fog run through it. All right, we're just gonna render that out real quick. All right, uh, we still need to add some things. Just boost up the intensity right here. Also go to visibility, turn up the brightness a bit and put up dust to about 80 or 90. You can even do 100 if you want. And I'm also not quite happy with the light. Just gonna move it back further up and tilt it downwards so we have a nicer shadow. All right, I think this should be good. Let's render it out. This is a Chucky Beat production. And offer a little weight. There you have it, your basic render. We'll just do some slight color corrections by going to filter, enable filter, and then you can just play around with the, with the colors a bit. I tend to do this a lot. Some people might not appreciate it. But, huh, I like it. You can just give it that slightly cool look. By shifting it to blue ever so slightly. And you can also just boost the contrast a bit and bump up the brightness ever so slightly. Maybe a little bit of saturation as well. Okay, so that's this without filter and this with filter. I tend to like it with a little bit of filter. Anyway, this should be it. Well, I hope you enjoyed all that, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe. And if you want other videos to watch, just click right here for tutorials and right here for my latest Q&A video. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.